Okay, hello everyone. Today we're gonna use the digital multimeter HDM3055B launched by Hentai to demonstrate how to carry out the secondary development of it using LabVIEW. So firstly, let me briefly introduce this digital multimeter. It is a 5.5 digit precision digital multimeter with a 4.3 inch display and multiple measurement functions are available such as DCV, ACV, DC, AC, resistance, connectivity, and so on. Then there are two sets of input ports in front and back. And uh, this web key is for uh, one key switch function. Uh, it has uh, many interfaces. So now let's turn it around to the back and see the interfaces, uh, interfaces it has. Yeah, as you can see, um, it is standard with USB, line, and serial interfaces. So the JPIB interface is also optional, but as for this monitor, there's no JPIB interface. Okay, that's the basic information of this uh, HDM3055B. Okay, uh, since today we are going to talk about the uh, secondary development of this monitor, we have to use a PC communication software to connect the multimeter to our PC. So first, uh, we need to download and install the I.O. library suite uh, through this link uh, shown on the screen. Another software we're gonna use is LabVIEW. Uh, the download link is also displayed on screen. So now, after all the preparations are over, uh, let me demonstrate the entire process to you. Okay, uh, let's power on first. And by the way, uh, the boost speed of this one meter is pretty fast. Uh, okay, then uh, we connect to the um, RS232 interface. Uh, okay, now let's open the device manager on our PC and check the allocated serial interface. I will notice that we are now using our uh, COMPS4. And now we have to open the IO software to realize the communication. This is the main interface of the IO software. If we use USB, we can directly search the device. However, uh, if we use line or serial, we need to do the configuration manually. Here we use serial number 4 and the corresponding interface is COM4. Then we should set the boot rate of this monitor. Uh, after that, we can search our device. Uh, when the device type and serial number are correctly displayed, uh, we should click the accept button. Uh, okay, finally, uh, we can find the device type uh, on the main interface. And on the right, we can see the information of the device. Uh, the visa address uh, is also showing. Uh, we should copy it because uh, we will use it in our following operations. Okay, now let's open the lab view. And this is an example we made to demonstrate the operations to you. Okay, here we go. Uh, as we can see, lab view programs are divided into front panel programs and back panel programs. Uh, in the front panel, here uh, is where we can input the our address, uh, which refers to the address we just copied here. So just uh, copy this address to this place. And here, uh, we can input custom commands for the communication testing. Here, uh, we should input read uh, question mark backslash n. Please don't forget the backslash n because it is an n mark and without it, the program will not uh, be executed correctly. And after we send the, this uh, read instruction, 
it will give us the current return value here. And here we can uh, select the measurement functions. For example, DCV, ECV, resistance, con uh, connectivity, and so on. Uh, okay, let's move to the back panel. And uh, we can see here are some events. Uh, the first one is the connect to devices event. This event contains three main functions. Uh, the first one is the wizard open function. It is used to open the device address and transmit it to the wizard write function. Here uh, we input a fixed value idn backslash to the visa write function to check the serial number and other relevant information of the device. And here uh, we have to add a delete or a no value will be read. Uh, in this demonstration, I set the time to be a little bit longer, up to one second for convenience. And right here, we set an attribute to read how many bytes of data are at the serial interface currently. And this is the visa read function. It has two input parameters. The first one, the address generated by the visa open function. And the second one is the bytes of data to be read. And after reading these parameters, this function will transmit the data to the return value. Uh, which can be seen here. And one more thing needed to be noticed. Each execution is followed by a visa close function. Uh, this is of great importance because each time we execute the uh, visa open function, there will be a resource occupied in the resource manager. If we don't close them, we will end up with a resource exhaustion. In that case, uh, you need to reconnect to the USB or serial interfaces. So uh, I strongly recommend you use with a close function each time. Uh, so this is all about the connect to devices event. Uh, then let's turn to the second event, uh, which is called the send instructions event. It is almost the same with the previous event. Uh, so the well, visa read uh, function first, and then the visa write function. But here comes a little difference. Just now we input a fixed value to the visa write function, but this time, as we need a custom command, we have to transmit the instructions from the uh, command control to this visa write function. And here are the DCV, ACV, resistance measure events. Uh, let's take uh, the DCV measurement as an example because uh, they are basically the same. Uh, the only difference is that the input of the visa write function should not be the custom commands. Instead, we should look up the special uh, instructions which can be found in the instruction set in the file. Uh, okay, uh, as we see, the front part doesn't change. Uh, we still use a visa open function to open this address, and then we go to the visa write function with its special instruction. And there is no need to apply a delay wait and the visa read function, because uh, for this event, there's no return value. And don't forget the visa close function. Okay, let me demonstrate it now. For you. First, we connect to the device to check the essential attributes of this mod meter. We input the fixed IDN 
instruction here and the return value is displayed here we can find out that the information is consistent with the information on the main interface of the IO software now we send a switch instruction uh, we switch uh, ACV measurement to DCV measurement uh, if you hear the relay make a sound, that means the motivator has switched to DCV measurement. Now, the motivator is in remote mode, uh, which means that the motivator will not continuously measure the values, but will measure a value each time you send an instruction. Okay, let's send the instruction. We can find that there is a little bit difference between the readings here and the readings on the multimeter. That is because the multimeter is only of five and a half precision, so these digits may be uh, invalid. Now let's switch to two line resistance measurement. We can send out the read instruction and the multimeter uh, displays overload. Uh, that is because this motivator is not loaded. So we switch back to ACV. And now we can see the return value. We can also switch to other measurements such as uh, connectivity, frequency and so on. And we just need to add a button here and add the corresponding event here. You can simply copy this program to the new events and just change the instructions here according to the operation manual. And there is still one thing I want to remind you. At the place we send instructions, for example, here, And here, and here. We need to right click those controls and take the backslash code display option. Or the backslash n we input uh, will be considered to be two independent characters, but now the escape character. The instructions will be invalid if you don't take this option. The same is true for this control. We can have a look at its attribute. Uh, under the display style column, we can see that the backslash is selected, which makes the backslash and its following characters to be escape characters. At this point is worth the attention. Okay, that's all for my demonstration. Thank you very much.